Given it's Christmas, I thought I'd get a vicar's wife back in the kitchen. And believe me, she needed a miracle. Christmas, f for a vicarage family, I would say it's wall-to-wall -wall church. Mark does all the cooking except at Christmas when it does fall to me. I don't think I've ever really learnt to cook. Give us this day our daily bread. The freezer is central to my cooking. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. An alternative Christmas lunch would be, would be interesting. Are there? The ideal Christmas meal for me would be something that could be prepared in advance, that was easily cooked and served, but that also was exciting and that I had done for myself, and I would really love to see the family's face when I put that down. Hello, Ruth. Hi, Gordon. How are you? All right, how are you? I feel like Santa Claus. Great. Very now, glad to see you. Um, Christmas. Yeah. What's the problem? On Christmas morning, I'm up really early trying to um, prepare vegetables or whatever can be done in advance, mm -hmm. which is when I get really stressed. My solution to this, of course, it would be something simple and uh, something like a salmon on crude. Right. You can get prepped. Yes. Go off yeah. to church, mm -hmm. return, cook in the oven. Yeah. Whilst that's cooking in the oven, then you get the vegetables on. That will be done oh. within the time of the salmon being cooked. Fantastic. <laughs> First and foremost important, get the salmon done. So it's just going to be um, layers of salmon yeah. sandwiched together. Yeah. Between the fillets, there'll be some butter, sultana, some ginger, right. some lemon and thyme. And the nice thing about this particular dish is quite, uh, you know, it's quite festive. Mm. There's the salmon. It's been skinned, pin bone. Get the butter. Paste this all over the salmon. We get the head and the tail yeah. opposite one another. Right. So we lift up the salmon. Place that on there. Any particular reason for that? Or? It's just so it cooks evenly. This is short crust, yeah? Roll the pastry out. Get the salmon onto the pastry. We're going to use an egg wash to stick this together. I want you to brush around the whole rim. Nice. And lift over. On your tray. That goes in the fridge. Excellent. Imagine it's Christmas morning. Right. Salmon's done. Yeah. Big weight off your shoulders. You're back from the church. What's next? Check the oven temperature. Yep. Whack it up. And then get the salmon. Yeah, straight in. And we're going to do like a creamed leek. Ooh, Looks fantastic at the table. Yeah. Tastes amazing. And we're going to season with a little bit of curry powder. Right. Don't worry, a little bit of wash on there, please. <laughs> we don't want any dirty leeks on Christmas Day, do we? <laughs> no, that'll spread like wildfire around yeah. here, yes? The vicar's wife's got dirty leeks. <laughs> so leeks into the pan. Nice. And lightly season with curry powder. Yeah? That's yeah? delicious. Cream in the leeks. Right. Job done. Take it out. Beautiful. Nice. Slowly. It feels really meaty. That slice is beautiful. I want you to put the potatoes on. Right. Main ingredient on the left-hand side of the plate. Look at that. Cream leeks. There we go. Right. Now, my dear vicar's wife. Yes? You're a star. Ha you're the star. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! wow. <Brilliant>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Massive improvement. That is superb. Now, how was that? Really good. It's very nice. Yes? Yeah. And Ruth, not too stressed out? Very chilled. Fantastic. I've never said this to the vicar before, but get out the kitchen, yes? And stay in the church <laughs> where you belong. <laughs> uh, New Year's resolution? Get back in the kitchen. Absolutely. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Bye. Bye-bye.